So, hop up under the car. Got my light. So, yeah, you can see right there. This light's got a low engine oil. The pigtail wires are all chewed up. So, I have to replace that pigtail. I guess I'm. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Easy's Rebuilds, and I'm Easy E. And if you can see from the thumbnail, we're working on the another 2003 Monte Carlo SS, the one I got for my stepdaughter's husband, and she's in bad shape. Been sitting out in the woods, just like the Chevy Malibu. So I already started digging into her because I already know she's gonna need an engine cradle. We got some lights on the dash, low oil, oil pressure low, the ABS brake light is on, traction control light is on. So we got a lot of wiring issues going on with this car because it's set out in the country where they got field mice and a lot of wires are chewed up. But first off, let's take a, just go, just go, I'm just going to do what I'm going to do. Just follow me along. So, we get up in here. She's going to need new control arms. The bushings are bad. New outer tie rod. And obviously, she's going to need new sway bar end links because you got to disconnect those. Swing the arm up. So, you can get the boats, two boats out of the rack and pinion. If you're going to be dropping the cradle, the rack and pinion, boat. And nut is an 18 millimeter. So same thing on this side. Sorry about the blinking light. She's gonna need a new, new outer tie rod, new control arm. And this way by any link. I'm not changing the shots on this car. And I gotta figure out what's going on with the ABS system. Why I'm up under here. It goes what's going on with the back end. Why it's making noise. But I'm not trying to put too much money in this car. Because remember, if you're new to the channel, we traded the Buick, my Buick bill for this car. And I think I was $1,000 into my Buick bill. So I got to get back that money without putting too much money into this one. Because this one... If you're not new to this channel, go check out the video of me going down to Goodland, Indiana and picking up, well not picking up, and going to take a look at the Buick and coming back and showing y'all how to walk around this car because the sunroof don't work. We got a lot of things going on on the inside. Busted headlight. The normal Monte Carlo rot. Some corroded grounds. But my Vivor, I got my brand new Vivor engine stabilizer so I can drop the cradle on this one without the engine dropping on my head. So I got that all hooked up. It's all tight. I'm going to have to order some more parts for this car. I just ordered some control arms and all the stuff I just told you. I just ordered all that. But got to get the engine mount back up under there. That's a... 15 millimeter, two bolts up under there, under the cradle. And on this side, you got two 15 millimeters right down there. Yeah, I got to get to. There's my other engine cradle off my maroon Monte Carlo, the one I chopped into little pieces. So lucky I did save that because I didn't know I was going to be getting this car. But I saved it. So this engine cradle will be getting scrapped because she's bent up. Core support got bent. They did do a lot of work in the shop. If you're new to this channel, if you're not, go check out the pay fifty. The Monte Carlo paid fifteen. I think he paid fifteen hundred dollars to get it fixed, and it still and it was overheating. And I had to finish the rest of the work by changing those little elbows right in there. It does have an oil leak? 
like it's coming from the intake. But I'm not going to be addressing that. She got a brand new water pump. And this car got 148,000 miles, I do believe. So I replaced all that. And she does need another AC compressor because that one, it, the bearings are shot. But this car came with one. He's never installed it because they wanted $400 to put it on. So that's where we're at. So I'm about to start attempting getting this cradle dropped. So let me get to work. I wanna be the best in the game, invest in my name Check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain I ingest, I retain, assess and I change Possessed by the thought I'll be free one day From society's restraints, money, clout and fame Mud disease, a plague we all love to hate Have to play the game, have to make a name All our insecurities are on This display. is war with the enemy Think that it was meant to be Living in a time where disease is on every screen I won't let them fester me I know most are festering Negativity is a plague for the mentally weak No mercy, all I God is working, never stop searching, never quench the thirsty I'm toxic and psychotic, with this logic, you can't stop it It's been chronic since I was a boy, so neurotic and chaotic oh. So, got the cradle on off, almost took out my GoPro when it dropped The engine did shift a little bit, see I was trying to keep it from shifting, but she shifted this way so hopefully i can get her back lined up the motor lined up with the motor mounts and transmission mount i have to just jack it on up there slide it on over but that's not in this video because i got a lot of stuff to replace up under there i have to replace the ac compressor a lot of the wiring but she's out and those were some 18 millimeter Four 18 millimeter bolts, and I should have kept the ones from the maroon car because these are rusty. The ones in the back, but it is what it is. And I gotta get the sway bar, the sway bar off. It's like it's brand new; it's been replaced before. Not OEM. Those are just 15 millimeters. And I gotta get the rest of this broken down. That I was already loose. Oh, that's heavy. Sit that right on over there. And she's got to get transferred over to the donor one. Ooh, that's heavy. That's heavier than the OEM one. But got to get these old control arms off because this is aluminum. But before we end this really very, very uh, short, short video, because y'all didn't see me remove control arms before, which is one 18 millimeter bolt, take out the cutter pin, get the bolt, get the nut off. Make sure you got a fork. Like this, separate from the knuckle, and drop her on down. Now, like I said, I ordered sway bar end links, new control arms, and new outer tie rod. But let's jump up under here and see what's going on. So up up under the car, got my light, so yeah, you can see right there, this light's got a low 
engine oil, the pigtail wires are all chewed up. So I have to replace that pigtail. I guess I'm gonna be replacing the pigtails to the APS system. Cause I don't know if the wire has been crushed or cut, cause there's too much stuff going on up in here with these wires. That wire has been cut. Up in that loom. I know it's been crushed. Yep. Yeah. So there's my busted wire. I knew something was going on. So I got ABS light on. So I'm be replacing. Both these pigtails, not no new ones, some used ones off the maroon card I chopped up. I don't know if I'm gonna replace it like, like it needs a oil pan gasket, which wouldn't be hard to replace right now since the cradle is out the way. Uh, it'll still be hard to replace because I can't get to those um, the transmission in the way to get to those these motor mount the motor mount ones for the front so I might just have to tighten those up sorry about that like I said replace these pigtails for the ABS I gotta replace the AC compressor while I'm up in here it'd be faster to replace it with the cradle out the way and way easier. So that's all I see. Got an oil lead from the valve from the oil pan gasket. But she only can lie, I'll probably just tighten those up. Since I can't replace the oil pan gasket. Well I've had to remove a lot of stuff. Cause I can get to the bolts in the, over here once I remove the AC compressor. The ones in the back, I don't know. Yeah, you can see the damage to the core support. The shop did their best to, to, to get it out. And she is missing that shield that go down here. And I don't even know if I got an extra shield. Just notice that. Still got some of the bolts in it for the shield, but the whole shield is missing. I think the shop did their best. Other than that, she's a good runner. Just makes a lot of noise because the compressor clutches out. So it's just making grinding noise. Got a lot of stuff. I get, she getting at that. See, so got the old over there in the corner over there. Got the she getting right out the rocker over there. Over here, about the same. But don't look that bad. It's not towards the back. So that's why we ain't messing with the fenders. I ain't replacing no fenders. I ain't doing no rust repair on this car. I'm not getting into it like I did with the red car. She just sat for a long time in the woods. She looked decent for what she is. I just got to get her back up the par. Back up to a daily driver. Oh, I can see all, I missed a lot of mud on here. Uh, Got to fix that. I didn't notice that was messed up. <sighs> Other side secured. So it's got to do the eyes and the ends. No tune up on this car. No valve cover gaskets. Nothing like that. Just get this cradle replaced. But I got to wait. So my parts come in, replace the cradle. So y'all see me replace the cradle. Once the control arms come in and stuff, I already got bolts for that. So all I gotta do is work on 
I said, I ain't going to keep repeating myself. But GoPro about to go dead. And y'all can see for yourself, this cradle is bent. It's no longer straight. She's bent in and up. As where the other cradle is nice and straight in the front. That one is bent in and up. Right there. Ooh. So with all that, if y'all enjoyed this little short video, or me just jumping into it, and dropping that cradle, almost dropping on my GoPro, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't, give us a thumbs down. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Let us know how we're doing over here. Share this video with your friends, family, co-workers. Be truly appreciated. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to Easy Ease Rebuilds. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever we release a new video. We have merch at teespring.com. We take cash app donations. We take donations of cars locally or we might make a trade like this one. There's all links in the description area below. Go follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And with all that said, stay tuned and stay blessed, people. Deuces! Uh -huh.